we can combine these matrices to describe something more complicated, like a lens. So let's look at the lens matrix. So if we had an optical axis kind of like that, and a curved surface kind of like that, and then a big thick part. Let's not even assume a thin lens. Let's just make it thick. And then another curved surface that doesn't even have to be the same. We'll even let it have a different curvature. So this one we will call um, R1, and this one we'll call R2. Those are those two radii. And we're going to say that index of the lens material is n prime to be consistent with last time. Outside we're going to say n equals 1. So we'll pretend we're going from air to glass. And we are trying to figure out what is this little ray going to do. This little ray is y naught alpha naught. Right? It's up at a height y. It's going off at angle alpha. And we want to know what's it going to do by the time it comes out. What's it doing? We'll call it y and alpha. Okay. And we need to give the lens an actual thickness, t. So that should be everything. So let's see, mathematically what you do is first you write your, the state of your light, your, your ray vector that you start with. And usually it's better to write it over here. Y naught, alpha naught. And then you multiply it by the matrices for the different operations in the order they happen. So the first thing you want to multiply it by is this refraction. So this would be a matrix for, I'm just going to call it refraction 1. We'll do the numbers in a minute, but that would be the first refraction. And then what would happen next is then the ray would translate. That would be translation T. All right. And then what would happen next? It would refract again, refraction 2. And the one thing wrong with this artistically is these are nice square matrices. This is supposed to be a vector. So I want it to look like a column vector, not like a square matrix. So this was nice and skinny. There we go. So if you multiply this uh, vector by these three matrices, you'll get y alpha. Whatever ray you send into the system, this is the ray that will come out. So one thing to remember is that matrix matrices are associative but not commutative. And what that means, that's reminding you how to multiply them. So to do this problem and get it out to come out right, you can multiply this matrix times this vector and get a vector. Then you can multiply this matrix times that vector and get a vector. Then you can multiply this matrix times that vector and get a vector. And that'll work. You could multiply this matrix times this matrix and get a matrix. And that matrix sums that matrix and get a matrix, and that matrix sums a vector, and that'll work. Okay? There's, they're associative. That means you could put parentheses anywhere you want and do them in order based on those parentheses. That part doesn't matter. But they are not commutative. Every time you multiply, you have to multiply to the right. When you do the little rules for multiplying a matrix times a vector, you have to apply you know, these two to that and these two to that. Okay? Whenever you do the little rules for multiplying a matrix times a matrix, it's these two times these two is that, and these two times these two is that, etc. It always has to be this one times that one, because it's not commutative. Okay? You can't go multiplying them this way. Always multiply that way. So anyway, just a quick reminder. I'm assuming you're familiar with uh, matrix multiplication. So let's put it all together for the thick lens and see what we get. OK, so just to help me write it, I'm actually going to write it backwards. I'm going to start with refraction 2. So here is refraction 2. The ray's already done a couple things. It hits this interface. We think back to our refraction matrix. It was 1 here. It was 0 here. It was um, n minus n prime over r n prime. n minus n prime over r n prime. So that's back when we were going from n to n prime, but now they're reversed. right? Now we're going from n prime to n. So that n minus n prime is actually flipped around. It's actually n prime minus n, and n is 1. So I'll put a 1 there. And that was over um, uh, r times n prime. 
So that would be over R2. And it was supposed to be what you're going into. Well, now we're going into 1. So it's really just over R2. So it's over R2 times n. We're making n equals 1. So that's what that simplifies down to. It looks different because we're going from inside the glass to outside the glass. Um, yeah. And then, uh, then you have, uh, what do you have here? You have, this was n over n prime, was this term, n over n prime. But we're going from inside to outside, so it's flipped. So it's n prime over n. n is 1, so it's just n prime. Like that. So for this one, that is refraction 2. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And now we've got to translate. Translate t. Right? All right. Uh, 0, t, 0. I'm sorry. 1, t, 0, 1. That'll translate t. Not much to that one. And then we've got to do the first refraction, which might have made some more sense to do first, but for some reason I decided to do it last. All right. So we're going to refract at this interface. So it's going to be 1 uh, here and 0 here. Then let's think back to the refraction matrix. It's n minus n prime over r n prime. And now all the n's and n primes are the same. So we put n1 minus n prime over r1 n prime. And then this term was n over n prime. n is 1, so it's 1 over n prime. So if I did all that right, all the n's that show up are n prime because I left all the n's here equal to 1. Yeah, that's correct. And those would then multiply y naught, alpha naught. But I'm not even going to write that, because really this is the matrix for the thick lens. And it's not just for a specific y naught, alpha naught. It's for any y naught, alpha naught. So it's really, it is the, um, the matrix. So you can multiply that out, and you see it makes a little bit of an algebraic mess. It's not that bad. It's really nothing that we're going to get a lot of insight from. So now let's go ahead and make our thin lens approximation. Right? So for the thin lens, all you got to do, just like we did before when we were doing it geometrically, is you just say that the thickness is 0. You squish these two surfaces together. All right? So if we do that, what were you we saying? We're saying that this is 0. You just put a 0 there. 1, 0, 0, 1. That's the identity matrix that multiplies something by 1. So you just ignore it. Or instead of mathematically, calling it 1 and getting rid of it, you just say it doesn't happen. You say, I have y naught, I refract on 1, I refract on 2. That's the other way to look at it. So I can rewrite these real quick. Um, let's see, 1, 0, n prime minus 1 over r2, n prime, and then 1, 0, 1 minus n prime over r1, n prime, 1 over n prime. And then we just multiply those to get down to the single matrix um, that we want. So let's see. This uh, part is 1. So 1 times 1 is 0. Or is 1. 0 times that is 0. So 1. And then um, this part is, let's see, 1 to that. And then 1 times 1. I'm sorry. I forgot to multiply the multiple matrices. Uh, 1 times 0 times that. 1 times 0 times that. Oh, yeah. So that would be 1 times 0 and 0, 0, so that's 0. Right there. And then here. So this, these two times these two. So this is n prime minus 1 over r2. Uh, that's that times that. Uh, plus n prime uh, times 1 minus n prime over r1 n prime. So what's going to happen is this is going to cancel that one. So it's plus 1 minus n prime over r1. And so that's that whole term right there. And then let's see. So the last term is this times this, 0. n prime times 1 over n prime is 1. Well, that was close. Let's see. So this is the thin lens uh, matrix. But next, we're going to see if we can put it in a more familiar form.